You need to get out tomorrow and vote. And with that, if you're a red or a blue or whatever your belief set, doesn't matter on this platform. This community, the South Asian community, the Muslim, the Pakistani, the Indian, or whoever you are, the idea is how can we come together as a bunch and create a difference. I would request everybody to please go and vote tomorrow because vote is a power and our local politics is, 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 is the power. Uh, so with this thing, I request everybody to go and vote tomorrow and uh, my well wishes for Pakistan, for America and that thing. Thank you very much. And we have to utilize our power of vote. That is our weapon. We cannot carry weapon physically, but this is the weapon we can carry and use it tomorrow. Please get out of your home. Tell everyone in our community, let it be a woman or a boy or an old man. Give him a ride to his station, to the polling station, and tell him to vote. I'm not, I'm not saying who to vote. Let him vote of his own. But decide yourself, is he a good guy for our community? Will it be good by or not? So please, my message to all the Pakistanis, Americans is get up, get up in the morning and vote. Please, 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 so, घर में बैठ के बस टीवी वॉच नहीं करना और आपको बाहर दूर निकलना है। As a Pakistani American and a Muslim American, it's really important that our leaders know who we are and know that we matter and that our voice matters and we have a big community behind us. So whoever you vote for, just come out and vote. So it's high time to involve in local politics and. Uh, I just request all my friends and, and all community members, go, please go tomorrow and vote. Thank you. This is Azra Dar, uh, President Pakoli. Today, we are all here to make a little bit of awareness. We are all part of uh, this community that is in the country. We are all in the country. के नाम को आगे लेके जाना हमारा काम है तो मैं मुझे इस वक्त जितने भी हमारे फ्रेंड्स फैमिली जो लोग भी मुझे लाइव देख रहे हैं प्लीज आज का हम सब का यहां जितने भी एक्टिविस्ट इकट्ठे हुए हैं हमारा मकसद सिर्फ एक है कि आप लोग प्लीज जाके वोट कीजिए बाहर जिसको भी आपने वोट देना है वोट करें वोट इज द ओनली वे आवर वॉइस आवर वॉइस कैन बी हर्ड मेरी भी सबसे यही बहुत रिक्वेस्ट है कि अपने घरों से निकलें अपने आप को अपनी ओपिनियन को जरूर उसको पिक करें जिसको भी आप चाहते हैं कि इट्स गुड फॉर द कम्युनिटी इस अपनी कम्युनिटी के लिए वो बेनिफिट साबित हो सकते हैं बजाय अपना वोट जाया करने के इसका इस्तेमाल करें और इसी तरह अपनी जो आवाज़ है मेरा नाम तालिब हुसैन है और आज आपको पता है कल इलेक्शन है यहाँ पे मिड टर्म इलेक्शन है यूएसए में और मैं अपनी पूरी कम्युनिटी को ये मैसेज देना चाहता हूँ कि कल आप निकलें और वोट करें डजेंट मैटर कि आपने वोट किसको देना है लेकिन वोट जरूर कास्ट करें ताकि आपका वोट काउंट हो जो भी स्टेटिक्स आती हैं उसमें वोट की काउंट बड़ा जरूरी है और ताकि हम लोग हमारी कम्युनिटी का उसमें हिस्सा हो और हम आइंदा जो भी इलेक्शन है उसमें हमारा नाम होना चाहिए शुक्रिया साहब अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय नेम इज नायर अब्बास आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग थाप एंड अमोनी हेयर आई एम हेयर टू टेल यू दैट द वोट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो चेंज द सिस्टम यू शुड बी इन द सिस्टम एंड यू कैन चेंज द सिस्टम बाय गिविंग द वोट सो नॉट गिविंग द वोट बाय योरसेल्फ यू हैव टू टेल योर फैमिली मेंबर टू गो एंड कास्ट द वोट इट डजंट मैटर यू do the voting for Republican or Democrat. It doesn't matter. The only thing is go and do the vote. The vote is very important. Whatever candidate you like, go and do the vote. And only the voting, you can change the system. Ji, Assalamu alaikum. Ji, my name is Maseem Sayyid. Uh, you know that voting is very necessary for us. And early voting is 40 million. I am a registered Democrat. And I will say to you, that you vote Democrats tomorrow. Rule A, all the way to land. Thank you. <laughs> सलमान शेर कंट्रोलर पाकोली आज हम यहाँ इकट्ठे हुए हैं कि कल वोटिंग है हमें सबको घरों से बाहर निकल के वोट डालना है वोट इज वोट वोट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
हम इस कंट्री में हैं हमारा फर्ज बनता है कि हम यहाँ वोट डालें और जैसे कि हम पाकिस्तान में रह के हम वोट डालते हैं इसी तरह ये हमारा दूसरा मुल्क है हम माइग्रेट होके आए हैं और हजूर सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने ये भी फरमाया है कि आप जिस मुल्क में आए उस मुल्क की रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन को फॉलो करें हमारा जज्बा ये है कि हम यहाँ वोट डालें इन जो भी जीतेगा हम उसके साथ होंगे पाकिस्तान that we are getting involved and we are engaged this evening is about engagement when you go out there tomorrow you already made up your mind or maybe you'll change your mind it's up to you that's your right that's your freedom what we want to talk about here is get up get out of your comfort zone go and make a decision uh my name is Atif Rahman and i request everyone to give the vote and especially uh tell the youth to come out and get in the politicians because a lot of uh, our youth is not involved in the politicians and they should know that what the politics are doing and uh, i request everyone to engage their families in the politician because this is the way we can come out as a muslim as a community leaders i think it's our responsibility to tell everyone to vote go out and vote jazakallah khair if you do not exercise this right don't stop complaining our community the biggest problem we complain but we do not go out and vote unless you do not use this power you cannot complain you have to go out another thing i was listening to people they are saying go vote anyone do not say that make sure your candidate deserve your vote just don't go i like this guy i know don't, don't go by likeness look at their previous record look which party they belong what's their policy is their policy are going to benefit you or your community or your country where you belong for it's not i i i took a picture with this guy he shook a hand with me i'm going to vote him no look their policy not only for you for you, new generation which our kids are living here what benefit they are going to my live. name is my name is humayun i'm from pakoli vote is very important as a minority living in america vote is very important to recognize ourselves in the society we need to choose the right candidate who can protect us who can protect our rights who can protect our children in schools who can protect uh, everything for us who can raise a voice for us whenever we need it we have a lot of issues comes around here as a muslims as a, uh, other people so we need a candidate who can support us in future for uh, for our children education is very important because a lot of kids are uh, getting bullied in school and uh, the protection is very important for us my you. name is ejaz hassan i am from pakuli main aap sab se request karunga hum sab ko apne family aur friends ko ja ke insist karna chahiye kal ke sab vote dale ja ke aur jinko aap right de sakte hain to unko right bhi dein lazmi aur vote dene se pehle lazmi jaise ki pehle bhi bataya gaya ki candidate ke bare mein zarur soche forget about the affiliation ki aap democrat hain ya republican hain jo candidate aapke aapke bachchon ke liye aapke future ke liye aapke houses taxes ke liye zyada zyada behtar program de raha hai uske liye vote kare taaki vote is our power hamara voice jo hai vote ke zariye hi suni jayegi taaki aainda is future mein hum log acche bachchon ke liye acha mustaqbil aur acha program de sake shukriya the aslam beg and belong to appec and few other organizations today we are gather over here to talk about the power of the vote well we all know uh, voting uh, vote have a tremendous power but especially for our community is very important we are the growing community we are the mo- uh, fastest growing community in long island and if you look around here you going to see the the demography is changing and soon our people will be ready to run for office and in this room i can i can point it out at least four or five people six people maybe they can run for offices and let me tell you another thing no matter which organization which leader no matter what you do no matter how much money you spend until you have the power of the uh, voting in your hand your community votes you are nothing tomorrow is november 8 you know what it is it's very important day in united states we 
we pick the people who represent us. And tomorrow we're gonna pick the person who, who will represent us in cabinet, in senator, in, in senate or in our town. So make sure everybody go out and vote and pick the right person for your community, for Muslim, whoever benefit your community, pick the right person because there are too many people they come out, take pictures with you and they will disappear. And right now, what I want to tell you, we have uh, all these leaders here. This is the time we should pick our own people to run for the office. This is the time we've been, we've been paying dues and paying the, you know, all those uh, ta tax money to the people who come out just make promise. This is the time we should be on the table to make promise to the our community. I think we all agreed and we, many of us has already said that uh, we must vote tomorrow. Number two, we also agreed that we should do some homework and we'll vote based on that. We should choose the candidate who is good for our community and also good for community at large. It's not uh, that any candidate who is only good for us will be good for the community at large. It, he or she has to be good for us as well as community at large. Now, I think our vote is getting more and more important now because the race is tightening. And I talked to a couple of uh, local candidates for New York State Assembly, New York Senate, as well as Congress. They all are saying that the Pakistani Americans can play a vital role at this time because our as the race will get close or tight, our importance will double and triple. So we must come out and vote. And vote is power. This community, I know it's a new community and kids on the block, but I think five to 7,000 vote. If we go out and vote, we could be a kingmaker. Those politicians must know that we are a community and we are united. Yes, you vote for somebody, but must know whom you are voting for, how he is in the community. So the request, one more thing, must go, get out, vote, and that's all it's count. You cannot do, sit home and think that everything will be okay about your tax, about your schools. All these things comes with your vote. Thank you, just go out and vote. Uh, very simple, if we don't vote, we don't exist. And if we don't vote, we lose the right to complain. So it's better to vote than complain. Thank you. I think the key message here is to elect leaders that have connection and community and communicate with everybody and are engaged and continue to be engaged after the election and bringing us all together. I think that's the key message. Um, I've been fortunate enough and humbled to be a part of the community here for the last few years, not just when I decided to run for office, but I you know, always feel a sense of warmth and open arms every time I'm around anyone in this community and the same must happen in our government. I was never in political office before. I decided to run about six, seven years ago when there was an issue going on in my town. I'm a commissioner of water and there was an issue happening. I was a cancer survivor and there was an issue with our water and I threw my hat in the ring to run to find out what was happening because our government was not responding and I often find that that's what happens. I beat an 18 year incumbent I was the first female. I got immediately involved at the state level so that I could help to not just help my district in Plainview, but all the districts here on Long Island and the state. And now I'm expanding my outreach to do more than just protect our public health, but protect our schools, protect our safety, protect our taxes and our ability to live here and to just be inclusive of all people. Um, you know, I've been very engaged with all communities with the South Asian community in particular and coming you know, and meeting everybody and I want to continue that engagement. I'm a very genuine and humble person and it would be the honor of my life to represent you and to continue to be engaged uh, after this election. So I hope you can very much thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to see everyone to come together before an election night. It's, you know, there are high stakes out there right now. And I never was really involved in politics, to tell you the truth. It was never my priority. And things just changed because of circumstances. I think we all understand where we're at at this point. And it's so important to cast a vote 
it, this is your voice, right? You have the right to vote. Um, make use of it. Uh, be involved. Uh, don't complain later on that the outcome is not what you want. Just accept it. That's another thing. I think you know all uh, the um, you know fake news and stuff. Just uh, don't spread it. If it's not true and there are no really facts behind it, don't spread. It. If there are facts behind it, I'm absolutely true for sure. You know, accept it. So, um, Dr. Sarah Siddiqui again. And, uh, you know, we're just continuing to try to tell you it's so important that you use your voice and you exercise your right to vote. Uh, make sure that you bring your family and friends. Make sure you tell. Uh, we always say, you know, call five to ten people and have them call five to ten people. So tomorrow after you vote, also take a picture. You know, we all take like taking selfies. So take a selfie, send it out, and make sure that you encourage your family members to get out there and vote. And I just want to say that um, use your vote wisely and make your leaders win. I can just say that. Support your leaders. And good luck to all candidates who are running for. Thank you. Uh, and unless we voice our, our votes, uh, like my beautiful girl here said, Vertica, um, it, we will not be able to uh, cement our legacy here. Uh, so we do well for ourselves. We are doctors, engineers, uh, nurses, IT professionals. Uh, we do well for ourselves. But uh, the problem with our community is we go from uh, our work to a mosque or church or temple and back to a house and we do that circle, you know? So that success is within our family only. And it works for a certain period of time. But as our community grows and our children, uh, you know, uh, we multiply here and we thrive in this community, it's not enough. It is more, it is even more important uh, for to become elected officials, police officers like myself, I served in the army here, uh, bureaucrats, um, the military, and all of the fields, we need to go out there and make a name for ourselves so we can solidify our legacy here. So when we have a problem, we have our own people. We don't need to look for, you know, to somebody else uh, that, that has no vested interest in our community or our children. We have our own people uh, that are elected and are in office. So I encourage you to run for office, uh, support our, from our people from our community that are running for office. I see uh, Samir, Amir uh, Sultan, here from our community is running, and there are several other people. So we need to support them, uh, voice our opinion, voice our votes. And uh, thank you. Yeah. I am a techie by profession. I went to school at NYU for computer science and uh, AIML, MIT, and that's what I do for a living. But uh, I have a five, I live in Dix Hills. I have a five year old son who came home one day and he said that it, they told him in school it's okay for him to dress up as a girl, and he, he told me he wished he was a girl. And that's when I decided to do something about it, because there are state level policies that uh, is a problem for Muslims. Um, and then, ignorance was a bliss eight months ago, not anymore. There's a lot of issues uh, for Muslim communities. The inflation, the crying, uh, the schooling, the parental control being taken away. So I'm hoping, inshallah, God willing, uh, to win this and do something for my kids, our kids, and all of our kids. Uh, let me start by saying that we are in a room of extremely distinguished community leaders who have spent a lifetime working, bringing our South Asian community forward. We are at an inflection point now. We are at a point where we need to ensure that our communities are not only seen, but heard. And as Saeed Bai said, and as many of you have been working towards, we need to have our own representation. And what does that really mean? It means the people that we don't have to go to and ask for things that are second nature to our community and already understood. Because of the support in this room, I'm very humbled to say that I was able to win my election and now be a trustee within the Brentwood School District. What that translated to was halal food on the first day of school because I didn't need to understand it by concept and by nature and how important it was for our community. Similarly, other individuals who are standing forward for our community to come and potentially have a seat at other tables, it's imperative that we at least listen to their message. I think we've reached a point where it doesn't matter what party you're affiliated with or what your belief system is, we need to work with one another to at least accept 
what one another are working towards as a community at large. And to be able to do that, we need to be able to respect everybody's <coughs> opinion points, and we have a right to obviously express ours. And that's what voting is. At the end of the day, the vote allows us to express our particular opinion about what our community needs, what our families need, and what the community at large needs. It is imperative that we get out and vote because everybody's looking at this data, as many of the candidates in this room can attest to, elections are data driven. They want to see who's voting, what their voter trends are, and what's important to them. And if we don't get out and vote and make our voices heard as to what our community needs, we won't be able to move forward. So I truly, truly thank everybody for all the support they have given me for putting up <laughs> with me as well, according to Save Bike. But most importantly, I truly ask that we try to work collectively. There is a plethora of organizations that are all amazing organizations in our community, and we need to all work together so that we can get to that next level. Thank you, Jazakallah. Uh, we just have to do our best and uh, vote for the right candidate, whoever we feel is the right candidate. I think we all agreed on one thing that we all should vote, right? Uh, I think there is a little bit, uh, uh, I think in our community it exists. We, we are not very confident about getting engaged or we feel that politics is very dry. People don't get excited. But living in this country, one thing you would know that uh, the system is very strong. And if you really want to contribute or if you want to achieve something, you have to be a part of the system, right? Unfortunately, where we come from, uh, politics is always very, it, it, it discusses, you know, corrupt, corruption. And yes, uh, but here we believe in the system and if we are part of this, if you want to change something or you want to achieve something, you have to be a part of the system. Uh, and politics is not only presidential election or state election. Uh, it's to start from your neighborhood, right? Uh, we live in Long Island. There are library boards, uh, fire department boards, school boards. Uh, we have uh, Sister Sara Siddiqui, she ran for a school board. And I think she's doing amazing things there in her district. We have uh, Hassan, Hassan, he's right here. Uh, in a very short period of time, I think he, he, he contributed a lot in his community. So good thing that we, we, we have more and more our, uh, our people are running for different offices. Schools or as communities, as groups, to have an allocation of resources, we need to exercise our voting power. And through that voting power, then that will influence the elected officials, the government officials, and all those who have the power to actually allocate resources to our communities, to our children, to our schools, to our firehouses, to all of the important things that we have as a community. Hello, welcome. Today, the Pakistani American community here in New York, in Long Island. Mein. एक प्रोग्राम किया जिसके अंदर हमने कोशिश की कि अपनी कम्युनिटी को कल के वोट के लिए तैयार किया जाए ये हमारी एक सिविक रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है और इसके अंदर हमारी पाकिस्तानी अमेरिकन कम्युनिटी का फ्यूचर अगर हम वोट करेंगे तो अपने आप को यहाँ पे स्टेब्लिश करेंगे अपने आप को रेकग्नाइज कराएंगे और अपने आने वाली नस्लों के लिए इस जगह को एक उनके लिए एक अच्छी उनको तालीम उनके लिए और हेल्थ और jobs ke liye hum ek ek jagah establish karenge good to see everyone i apologize uh, i was in franklin square north belmore wantaw seaford and actually plainview already tonight so i apologize for being a little late but i want to say thank you to saeed for the opportunity uh, i'm steve rhodes i'm a nassau county legislator i have the honor of representing the 19th legislative district which is the communities of freeport through seaford on the south shore but I'm running for the New York State Senate out of the 5th District, which represents, uh, which represents Merrick, represents Merrick, Belmore, Wantaw, Seaford, 
uh, North Belmore, North Merrick, uh, East Meadows, Salisbury, Levittown, Farmingdale, Bethpage, Plainview, wow. Old Bethpage, and Hicksville. I think I got them all. I think I got them all. The, 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 bottom, the bottom line, and I'll make it short because I know you're at the end of the evening, there's a lot at stake in this election. And I know you've heard from a number of candidates today, but I want you to take a look at the world around you and what's been happening, particularly over the course of the last four years. We all want the same things. We want safe streets, we want good schools, we want good quality of life, and we want the opportunity for our kids and our grandkids to be able to stay in wonderful communities like Hicksville and be able to prosper. I had the opportunity to be able to be born here in New York. I've lived here my entire life. Many people in this room have chose to make New York their home. You're committed here. I'm committed here. And while many are leaving, you and I believe in the future of this state. And what's been happening, unfortunately, is that we have policies up in Albany that are making us less safe. We have policies up in Albany that are making the American dream less achievable for our kids and for our grandkids. We have schools that are teaching the wrong things. We all saw Newsday, for example, last week, with a 40% pass rate in third through eighth graders, a 40% pass rate in math, a 50% pass rate in English. Meanwhile, there's a bill up in Albany that was introduced by the other party that will teach kindergartners about gender, that wants to teach third graders third graders about hormone therapy. We need to start teaching our kids the basics of reading, writing, and arithmetic, and stop trying to teach social engineering in our schools. So this election, there's a lot at stake. A 53% increase in crime, right? Not in New York City, right here in Nassau County. 53% increase in major crimes just over the course of the last 12 months. A $34 billion increase in state spending. That's a 17% increase in just the last two years. When we talk about our communities becoming less affordable and the American dream becoming less attainable here on Long Island, that's what we're talking about. A billion dollar commuter tax coming out of residents of Nassau, Suffolk, Westchester counties, coming directly out of our economy. That's not helping our families. And so we need people who are going to not just go along to get along up in Albany. We need people who are going to fight to make a change. And I'm not planning on going to Albany to make friends. I'm planning on going to Albany to make a difference and to fight. Fight for our communities. Fight for our families. Fight for our values. Fight for our neighborhoods. Fight for our future.